All right, so let's get started here first. Uh, obviously, this is a sad day for me. Kaya naka dark colors on today. Uh, pero Charles, this uh, game, the Lakers actually were able to come back from a third quarter deficit and really took control in that fourth quarter. What was different for them uh, in that fourth? One nice adjustment they made because I was complaining the third quarter they they benched Westbrook and LeBron they they were only down two at the time then the, it was a plus eight and three minutes so LeBron had to come in before the third quarter ended but it looked like the Jazz were in firm control you know it's been the story of the Lakers they've been playing well at the start of the games and then they kind of collapsed towards the second half but in that fourth quarter they actually went small ball you know to be honest I was like okay. How long is Dwight Howard going to sit and not be matched up with Gobert? But that small ball with Stanley Johnson at the five being guarded by Gobert really helped the Lakers. He scored 10 points in that fourth quarter. It was attack him off the dribble. And I think he was the biggest X factor in why the Lakers were able to come back and win this game. Actually, we, we do have you know an interesting stat from Twitter about that fourth quarter. Coach Charles LeBron, sabi mo nga, he played center all throughout that period against the reigning defensive player of the year, Rudy Gobert, and the Lakers would go on to make a 13-0 run. Given this, do you think that small ball is a way to go for LA? Do you agree with Coach Charles, Jello? Well, they really exposed, for me, they really exposed Rudy Gobert in that fourth quarter. Um, they always bring him out on ball screens, uh, forcing that switch on uh, Stanley Johnson, taking, the, taking advantage of that. Um, and for me, Stanley Johnson uh, really led that that fourth quarter run. That, no, sorry, that third quarter run. Um, and I really hope that it would be a great start for them. Mm. Well, you know, uh, personally, that uh, that fourth quarter run really was uh, a lot. Well, the energy really showed. Uh, and we saw that tweet from LeBron James that he was apologizing. Laker Nation wanted to do a lot better. And of course, uh, that big headline that really punctuated the night was a Russell Westbrook a poster on Rudy Gobert. But talking a bit about Westbrook as well, he would had that one highlight. The night was a bit mixed from him still. Uh, Charles, what your your thoughts on what Russell Westbrook showed today, and what you think his future is with the Lakers, uh, despite that whole mixed up and down season he's been having? Um, he had that highlight, as you said, against the Bears, which was pretty cool. Maybe one of the top dunks this whole year. Uh, he had a nice end one to basically seal the game for them. But you know what? He hasn't looked good at all this season. And you know, I, I, Westbrook, for as hard as he plays, he's a competitor. You can't keep making excuses for him. I don't think he's going anywhere simply because I don't think any team will trade him. Uh, I just think that he has to figure it out and play better. You know, some of his turnovers throughout the year have been like weird. He's throwing the ball to guys' faces or heads. and like, wow, what's going on? I mean, no team's respecting his outside shot. And, you know, he's going to continue to take, him, to, to take them despite shooting, what, less than 30%, if I'm not mistaken, or right about there. But the bottom line, Westbrook's a great player. He's a Hall of Famer. He's an MVP he has to figure things out. They have a few more games, but you know, when Anthony Davis comes back, I think they still have hope. But yeah, Westbrook to me has been one of the biggest problems for the Lakers, and he hasn't looked good defensively. It's like he can't really defend anybody. It's just kind of sad. So you know, they, he has to step up his game for sure. Yeah, been a coach Charles. But how about you, Jello? Do you think there is still hope for Russell in the Lakers, or is it a lost cause? Well. You really can tell because it's kind of early to defer, uh, early in the season. But the way the Lakers are uh, playing uh, with Russell Westbrook, for me, it's not really a match. I mean, it's not really a match uh, with the style of play of Russell Westbrook and how LeBron is controlling everything. Eh, it's not eh. like uh, iba talaga. Uh, medyo magulo. I see it na medyo magulo. Uh, he's been all over the place, like I've said before. And Sana, uh, he, he, he does well in the latter part of the season to, for that final final push for the playoffs. But as of now, I don't really see na giging okay siya anytime soon. Well, you know, this Lakers team, uh, currently seventh in the log jam, uh, trying to find a way to secure their spot in the playoffs. Uh, not yet sure. To be completely frank, because it's a long season. In fact, you still have the All-Star break coming up. And do you feel, though, oh, okay, we're going to go to Jello for this one, because she's Mr. Hot Takes. Natin eh. Will the Lakers make the playoffs outright, or 
will they be forced to go to a play-in and potentially miss it again? Feel uh, basing it on how they're playing right now, I really think they would have a, a play-in game. Tapos magiging diktigan niya hanggang dulo. And I really, hindi ko pa masabi right now if they'd make it all the, uh, kahit dun sa 8th spot. But things are not really going well for them. So, again, they have they just have to prove na they can really make it at least tight 7 or, or mm-hmm. not really. How about you, Coach Charles? Do you agree with this, with what Jello just said? I don't you know. To be honest, I'd say shame on them if they ended up in that 7th or 8th seed. I mean, look, they haven't looked good at all. The biggest issue for me is they can't defend. They're 27 in the league in defense right now, which... It's ironic because we talked about this game earlier. They held the Jazz, the number one team in the league in offense by far, to 37% shooting to below 100 points for a team that's averaging 115. They actually played defense when they wanted to without arguably their best defender in 80. But, you know, Anthony Davis hasn't looked good at all. I mean, he's always hurt. He can't even get on the floor. And without him, I don't know if they're going to be anywhere near the contenders in the West. But I do think that they will at least get out of that seven seed maybe somewhere six or five i don't know it's just a gutty especially when they get healthy if not really shame on them shame <laughs> on <laughs> them <laughs> grab it naman charles <laughs> to the point chairman si coach charles of course but gentlemen last question now in the event okay that they do make the playoffs and it's going to be the lakers versus the jazz Shempre for pao the jazz in a seven game series you know who's gonna walk away with a win Wow, let's start with you first. Biggest Jazz fan I do. No, I mean, like, of course, Jazz fans are going to pick the Jazz. Um, Honestly, this game felt, this game in particular that just happened earlier, it felt like a bit of an aberration because the Jazz normally don't shoot that poorly. Uh, It'll happen from time to time. It was that type of night, and I think that that's one of the reasons why they lost. Apart from that, their defense, they have yet to figure it out. They're experimenting with different things. They played so much small ball, which they normally don't. And in the fourth quarter, they just ran out of gas. Again, second night of a back-to-back, the energy in the fourth quarter just failed. And their legs weren't with them anymore. No lift at all. So, hopefully, I think in a seven-game series, I think it's a still advantage. Jazz, health for the Lakers is important. I don't think they have it yet. Um, and it'll be hard to say whether or not they'll be right by playoff time. So, let's see what happens then. How about you, Charles? Do you agree or do you go against me? It's tough, you know. Right now, the Lakers, the way they're playing, I actually would pick the Jazz. My only concern for the Jazz is we saw it in their series against the Clippers last year. The small ball exposed. I mean, come on, dudes guarding Gobert like what six five? It was Horton Tucker a few times, Monk, and they couldn't even get in the ball and make the make the Lakers spin. Look, if they're, I mean, it's one game, so maybe yeah, you can kind of hide guys doing that switching thing, but they gotta find a way to make teams pay for disrespecting Gobert fancy. But I do think the Lakers don't get their act together. Like right now, even with AD, I think the Jazz will beat them. But I hope I hope not because I obviously like LeBron. So, man, I hope the Lakers get their act together. 